So we're get the next box. Let me show you something. You got this flyer, right? What what is that? This is always calling you. I agree with that. That I agree with. Where are you guys from Ghana? Where? Eight, oh, Haiti. So guess what? You're from the tribe of Levi, from the nation of Israel. Let me give you some. Something that's a hundred times better. A million times better. Take that. You guys gonna catch the next one. Catch the next one, okay? So sister from Lee from Haiti, my Levi sisters. So you guys are from the tribe of Levi. You guys go you guys go to uh, church? Yeah, we do. We've got uh, seven day Adventists? What? Pentecost? Yeah. So listen to this. Do you guys celebrate the feast of Pentecost? Yes. What is it? You guys don't know. And you guys are Pentecostal. Uh -oh. So watch this. Don't, hey, I know you're looking at the bus. This is where you need to be, sister. <laughs> this is where you need to be, sister, because you haven't learned this before. I'm going to say something very bold. You guys have not learned God properly in the church. You guys have not learned God properly in the church. Can I show you why? Give me um, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 1 and... Um, yeah, it's 1 Timothy 2. 1 Timothy 2? Yeah, I like The book of 1 Timothy. The book, the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. What, what does modest mean? What does modest mean, sister? Modest. What does modest mean? So the Bible says women should adorn themselves. Women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. So I'm gonna pull up a definition of what modest is, okay? Because we don't, we, our, our people don't know what modest is. It says dressing. Listen to this. What's your name? Tanya. Tanya? Yeah. What's your name, sis? Mika. Tanya and Mika. Yeah. So Tanya and Mika. Modest. The definition of modest. It says dressing or behaving so as to avoid um, impropriety or indecency, especially to avoid uh, um, to avoid attracting sexual attention. So you have to dress modestly, so not in a sexual manner. So you know what that means? So you have to be covered up as a daughter of God, as a Levite. So right now, are you covered up? Is any of your, your, your figures showing? No, you don't think so? So what about your pants? It doesn't show your figure? No? What about you, sister? So you, you, you're wearing tight, um, what is this? Chalk pants, and you're wearing tight jeans. So it's not showing your, 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 your leg figure? That's not showing your leg, it's fitting. It is, it is. So that's not modest, according to the Bible. You're not gonna get this in church. You're, you're gonna go to church to clap your hands, pay some tithes, and then go home. They're not going to teach you this in church, sisters. They're not going to teach you this in church. Read it again. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. The book of 1 Timothy, the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness. You know what shamefaced means? So it, does, it means not like bold. You know how our sisters now are, are in the men's face talking loud and basically above the man? They're supposed to be shame face. Shame face. Like quiet, humble. I, I know I know sisters from Haiti, they're like that. But the sisters from America and Jamaica and uh, the West Indies, they're loud, obnoxious. You know what I mean? So shame face is the opposite of that. They're quiet and humble, meek. You know what I'm saying? Tina, Tanya, and Mika. All right? They shame facedness and sobriety. What does it mean to be sober? What's sobriety? Do you guys drink? No. 
How old are you? And how old are you, Mika? 22. So you're the older sister? Okay, so listen up. You guys don't jerk, that's fine. Go ahead. Not with brided hair or goat or pearl or costly array. So you're not supposed to adorn yourself in the, um, read it from the top. Or gold, sorry, not with brided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So some churches will take that and say, hey, you can't wear gold. You can't do your hair. It's fine to do your hair, but you're not supposed to glorify yourself in those things. Because some of our sisters walk around like, oh, look at me. Look at my gold. Look at my hairdo. Look at my makeup. Am I right? They, they, they make that the, 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 um, the center of attention. What they have on. But what's supposed to be, what, what should be the center of attention is your modesty. Your sobriety. Your meekness. Your shamefacedness. What shame face this again? We just went over it. Mika, what shame face this? It's it's being the opposite of bold and loud. It's meek, quiet, humble. Shame face. You know what shameful means when you're when you have a shameful daughter? That's the opposite. Shame face is the opposite. You understand? Can we do the other twenty two and five? You guys you guys love God, right? Because you guys are about to go to church. So how do you love God? Can you hug him? Can you give him a kiss? Can you send him flowers? So how are we supposed to love God? Say that again. How do you adore him? Say that again. Right. We're supposed to do what God says to do. So what does God say to do and how are you supposed to dress? Modestly. Modesty. You're supposed to dress modestly. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman, Mika and uh, Tan Yo, Tanya. Hold on. Hold on. The woman, you guys are young women, right? Go ahead. The woman shall not wear that. What do you wear? What do you wear? What do people wear on their bodies? Huh? Say it again. Outfits, clothes, garments, right? So the woman shall not wear, read, that which pertaineth, pertain means to belong to. You guys listen up. Read. Which pertaineth unto a man. Read that again now in its entirety. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So sisters, the woman shall not wear but what belongs to a man. What are clothes that women wear today that belong to men? Say it again. Pants. 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 Mika, do you hear that? Pants. What does God say? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So sisters, what did God say? Do not wear pants. Do not wear pants. Do you love God? So are you going to do what he says? Or are you going to do what the world says? Are you going to learn this in church? Or do they teach you this in church? They teach you not to wear pants? On what? When you go to church. But do they teach you to not wear pants on every single day? They do? Are you sure? So why are you wearing pants right now? It's cold, it's cold right now? So why are you wearing pants right now, sister? Listen, sis. Sisters, we're showing you love right now. We want to see you make it. Give me Matthew. We want to see you make it to the kingdom of heaven. 19. Do you guys want to make it to the kingdom of heaven? I believe you do because you guys were going to church. Right? So how do you make it to the kingdom of heaven now? Watch this, sisters. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So what good thing should he do to have eternal life? That's a question that you guys should be asking, right? What, you guys want eternal life? So how do you get it? So Christ is going to answer him. Go ahead. 
And he said unto him, Why callest me thou good? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, but Christ is saying now, listen up, read that again. But but if thou wilt enter into life, so Christ is about to answer his question. If you want to make it into life, make it to eternal life, the kingdom of heaven, what must you do? Keep the commandments. What must you do? Keep the commandments. So Vika and uh, Tanya, what must you do to make it to eternal life? So are we supposed to keep the commandments sometimes? All the time. All the time. Not just on the Sunday or the Saturday. All the time. Does the Bible say that? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 11 and 1. So this is your heritage, sisters. Let me show you someone to sign over here. Over here. So you see this here? Yes. Is she wearing any clothes? But well, you can see her figure, right? So when you're wearing tight-fitting clothes, sisters, you're basically showing your, your figure, your bum, your legs. And when you wear the tight, tight, tight top clothes, you can see everything. The front, the back, the side, everything. And God says to dress modestly as princesses God, as princesses of God. You understand? Yes. So how are you going to dress? How are you going to dress in the winter now? Are you going to wear pants in the winter? Yeah. So do you guys wear tights? You don't wear tights? Do you have tights? So how come you can't wear tights and then wear a dress over it? Because tights are underwear. Yeah. Right? So you guys understand that. So wear, so wear uh, the tights with the dress over it.